Rob here from robcoven.com. I'm going to show you quickly how to set up Google Analytics on your Genesis site. Now, if you've never set up Analytics before, it's real easy. All you have to do is to go to google.com forward slash analytics. There it is. Assuming you have a Gmail address, you should be able to access Google Analytics. And here is all my sites. And what you want to do is go on here to the top right and click on admin. You've got three columns here, an account, a property and a profile. You've got a choice here whether to make a new account or a new property. If you're creating an analytics account for a client, then you might want to think about creating a new account. But I'm doing it for me, that's Rob Coven, so I'm going to create a new property. So if you click here, there's create new property at the bottom. So here, a new property, we want to track a website and we want universal analytics. All you have to do is clean the website name. So let's get it there. Paste it in its proper name. Category isn't important and you can select your time zone. And click on the blue button at the bottom get tracking ID. So here is your all important tracking ID and all you have to do is to put this code here on every page of your website that you want to track. So I'll copy that and I'll show you how to do that on your Genesis WordPress website. If you have a WordPress site, you haven't got Genesis, you can just put it into your theme by adding it to a header PHP or a footer PHP that you'd see here. But anyway, this is about Genesis. So if you go into Genesis theme settings, down the bottom, you have header and footer scripts. And I'd advise you to put it into your header. So there it goes into the header and we'll save settings. Now if we refresh and have a look at the HTML of the page, we shall see the tracking code that we just put in. And there it is. So let's go back to Google Analytics. And so let's go back. So we click on reporting and there it is. Nothing much to see at the moment, but there will be in a couple of days time. Okay, and just a few days later then, what we can do is hone in on the last two or three days and we see we have had some visitors three on Friday and six on Saturday you can also look at the hourly visitors I'm not going to show you much about analytics but if you want to set a goal go to admin if you click goals there you can set a goal which could be a checkout page for a product purchase but on the reporting side, you can look at acquisition to see where the traffic is coming from. In this case, it's mostly direct, although there's some search engine traffic, which means it comes from Google or something, and referral, which means it comes from a link from another site. Anyway, I hope that showed you a bit about setting up Google Analytics. My name's Rob Cubbon from robcubbon.com. Thank you very much. Goodbye. Goodbye.